<clears throat> Welcome viewers. Some of the ways in which you can spot someone that's using you solely for supply is their family structure. If the woman that you're with or the man that you're with is enmeshed to a family member, <coughs> excuse me, then that's going to detract them from input into the relationship. It's going to tax the relationship because the family members in, uh, that are enmeshed with the person that you're with will put on performances to get their supply. They're going to object to the relationship. They're going to try and undermine it. They're going to try and detract from who you are. They'll feign sicknesses, illnesses. They'll put on performances, acts. They'll antagonize, they'll be sarcastic, they'll do whatever, whatever they have to to undermine your position in the life of the person that you are with. So number one, you can tell a clue will be family structures, enmeshment, look for enmeshment, dependence, adults who are dependent on this person for emotional supply. Another way you're going to tell that you possibly could be in trouble is in is addictions or chemical use or over medicating using medical medical medication as a crutch that's another way you can tell because it's a codependency it's a means of escape and this means it's going to reveal unresolved it's a means of escape escape is unresolved because unresolved takes confrontation if people aren't prepared to confront the issue then they're not going to be able to resolve it that's the problem there so you have to look out for uh, chemical and substance dependency because that's going to be evidence of unresolved because they're means of escape. Number three. If they come into the relationship hard and fast, sex immediately, um, kind of a desperate grappling for you to get a hold on your life by way of texting all the time, phoning all the time, telling you all about their problems and how they need your support to get through them, this kind of thing. That is going to cause unresolved. And unresolved is going to bring you down. It's going to bring you undone. They're going to try and trauma bond you. They're going to try and make you dependent on them by putting all your focus on them. And as you do that, you become bonded. And it's these bonds that hold you, they are able to hold you within their lives. So they're going to try and tie you up and tangle you into their problems. And number whatever the next number is the last one that was the one I just did was love bombing more or less this one is they're going to cause a drama to enforce a trauma bond on your mind they're going to cause a drama to enforce a trauma bond on your mind and this is the big one because once they've gotten in your life far enough to be able to throw a situation where a trauma bond will take, will happen, then that's when you're really tied up. That's where they've got you. They've tied you up now and now you're a part of their structure 
that's how trauma bond works and so with that said I hope that helps it's only a short video but I think it's important as people are waking up now to people that are just using people for conveniences and for supply. Bye for now.